This is the best defense to use in Madden 24 right now. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, see ya. stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can be found in my brand new Baltimore Ravens offensive and multi-day defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. This is the first video where I switched to the Ravens offense, so I figured I might as well use the team the offense was designed for in Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. In my first gameplay, I'm facing the New Orleans Saints, but before I do, if you guys are liking the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. The strength of the Ravens defense is probably their linebackers as they have one of the best linebacking units in the entire game with guys like Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, and Trenton Simpson at his 91 speed. So I start the game using my 3-4 odd defense, thinking that this would be the best defense for this team since they use a base 3-4 in real life, and he goes right down the field on me. I force him to a third one though that turns into a fourth and in inches that he decides to go for and barely converts before getting a big first down on a crossing route. So I switch to the defense that today's video is about in the quarter normal. I've already made several videos showing you guys some new plays from this defense, but in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new setup that makes this defense even better against run and pass. I guess just about every offensive formation in the game. I've already made full breakdown videos of the offense and defense I'll be using in today's video, so if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. For my coaching adjustments, since I'm using matching defense, I want to turn my zone coverage to match to get the full benefit, and I will also set my auto alignment to base so that my opponent will have a harder time reading the coverage pre snap. For my audible plays, the best three plays to use are the cover four drop, which is my base defense for both run and pass, the under smoke which is my best blitz, and the cover 2 man which is my best pass defense. But I really only use the cover 4 drop and the under smoke the most, as the cover 2 man is really more of like a prevent. I call cover 0 on the next play and the only adjustment you have to make from here is the pinch defensive line for better run defense or spread them for better pass defense. In the last video that I made about this defense, I said that you want your blitzing cornerback to be about 5 yards outside the tackle, but I recently found that this defense works even better if you bring the blitzing cornerback in close like this until it almost looks like a nickel 3-3 cub only with cornerbacks where the outside linebackers would be. If you remember before the recent patch destroyed it, the meta for the last couple of Maddens was to start in the 3-3, switch out all the linebackers with safeties, and switch to this look here in your audibles. With this defense, you already have that look only with faster cornerbacks who have better coverage skills. After that, you just have to user the blitzing middle linebacker and hover the guard gap pre-snap before dropping back into coverage, and you can see that this defense actually stops to run better the 3-4 odd was as we push him backwards for a 4-yard loss on the next play. I switched to the cover 4 on the next play and we get the same result as we would have pushed him backwards again if the computer could have made a tackle as he only gets 2 yards back anyway. I make the mistake of blitzing on 3rd and long though as the coverage was perfect. <laughs> He just moss me. Now in the red zone, we are pushing it backwards again on the next play as this run defense is playing lights out. I call the blitz one more time and I can hover either guard gap, but since I don't base a line, I decide to cover the side with more receivers as it will take time for the safeties and covers to reach their targets quickly. And I don't want to base a line so that he thinks I'm still in cover four. So it's my job to cut off these quick throw lanes until the coverage can get into position as he tries to moss me on the outside once again. Nope. On the next play, I base align this time exposing my coverage, and you can tell my opponent has a much easier time reading and beating the defense now, as he hits me right over the middle for the touchdown. So I give up the score, but I'm glad that I can at least use this mistake to show you guys the differences and how important it is to not base align so that this defense can confuse your opponent pre-snap. So only base align win in cover four. On offense, I'm gonna be using my pistol strong slot scheme, which is another offense I recently showed in my latest glitch routes video, link in the description, as I catch him running cover on man on the very first series. So I switch to the PA levels as this wheel route to the fullback destroys this defense, especially on the hash mark like this. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it.
So in the next series, he tries to get creative and get his running game going and only gets a yard. I stay in man coverage on the next play and he beats me with a drag. So anytime somebody beats me with drag routes, I go back to the cover four as this can pretty much shut down anything. And he quick hikes me before I get the full setup in to get four yards. The best way to set up run defense, especially against tight formations like this, is the base line and bring the safeties down into the box. After that, I'm going to move the middle linebacker over and use the box safety on the line and stand him up over the guard gap like a sub package linebacker. He hikes the ball before I can get the full setup in he hikes the ball before i get the full setup in but if you look at this setup it almost looks like a three for odd with cornerbacks on the outside instead of linebackers to have a lot more speed and coverage ability just with less size i already showed how this blitz can also look like the three three cub as well making this one of the most versatile defenses in the game as everybody is covered and he throws the ball away i go back to the blitz on the next play and the three three look and this blitz is super fast as we push him back to a fourth and 18 with the sack and i guess he doesn't want to play against me anymore as he decides to go for it essentially ending the game on a rage quit gotcha, bitch. See ya. in my next game play i'm facing my own team the philadelphia eagles which means i should win this game since they can't beat anyone these days but they're still the highest rated team in the game at the time of this recording if your opponent isn't a shock and look like this it's slightly better to slide the line in the most likely direction of travel I switch back to the 3 4 out on the next play, and he gets his best play of the game so far, but at least this shows that this defense might be a better run defense than the 3 4 odd, even with the lack of size. Before he beats him with a drag route to get close to the first, and runs an RPO play on the next play, which is still pretty glitchy, despite the latest patch trying to nerf them. He tries to hit me with a screen pass on the next play, but I sniff that out for a loss, before I miss the tackle on the next play to let him get the first down. From here, I try to switch it up a little bit with some experimental defenses from the FS Blitz 3, before getting another good run on first down, as he starts the game by going right down the field before switching to the i from close offense that i put out and made so popular and beating me with my own pa deep cross go ah, you mother that's all i needed for him to do that and it it became personal with me on offense i start this game out and struggling for a variety of reasons before he gets me into a fourth and two from my own 39 yard line that i decide to go for and i end up turning the ball over in field goal range already from here i have to push him back so i switch to the under smoke blitz in hopes of getting a sack but this is also a good run defense without much of a setup as he only gets a few yards before he runs again to get the third and short and he tries to pick it up with another rpo play <laughs> Before we get the stop and force a fourth and one. In this situation, I have to switch to my three for odd, expecting another run, but he passes instead and we still get the stop. Sit down and study. Back on offense with the game almost at halftime, and I really haven't even had the ball much at all, so I switched to a new formation entirely from the gun normal Y off close in hopes of getting the ball down the field in a hurry. I made a full breakdown of this offense as well, link in the description if you guys want to see more. I read cover two zone on the next play, and I decide to go to the escape play, as all I have to do is put this tight end on a streak, and the B route gets wide open against several different defenses. Break yourself, fool! I run and hurry up to try to do it again, and he immediately changes defense to cover zero, so I switch to the double slant play, as this post route beats that defense too for the score. He tries to hit me with another really hard to stop play in the mesh double drags, but I read it right away and run into the drag routes, forcing him to throw it to a comeback route and almost gets an intercepted. He then switches to the exact same formation that I'm using in the exact same play in the escape. And I'm convinced this guy definitely watches my channel at this point before he tries to make another trick play only to lose yards. Sit your ass down. And now I'm getting the ball back with only 20 seconds left. Plenty of time for this explosive offense. I read cover through in the first play, so I take the quick hitting corner out to get to midfield with 16 seconds left before I almost get intercepted on the next play. I really only need about 10 yards, but his defense is locking me up in cover two man. So with six seconds left, I switch back to the double drags play that I scored on earlier. Only this time I put the Y receiver on a 10 yard out route to split the safeties. Break yourself, fool! And we score with no time left to end the half. We also get the ball after half, but I try to do a little bit too much on the return and end up starting with horrible field position. But that's not a problem for this offense as I use the double drags myself to get off the goal line before turning the escape play into the bench concept to get another first down. I see a lane on the next play so I switch to the inside zone and get another first down as this offense is just rolling at this point. I recover two once again on the next play and since I attacked the safeties last time I decided to switch it up and attack the cornerbacks instead. So I switch to the Y stick dig, motion the B receiver in and put him on a streak to pull back the safety. Then I put the tight end on the drag to hold the cornerback down and I get a huge play to the outside to get inside the deep red zone before my running back makes a spectacular individual effort to take a two touchdown lead. 
On defense, he decides to come out under center, so I bring the safeties down expecting run, but I didn't expect it to be from the quarterback. He tries to pass on the next play, nope. but it almost ends in interception. I throw a man zero blitz at him, but that's what he wants so he can keep hitting these drag routes all game. So on the next play, I switch to cover four, and even though I know he is passing, I bring the safeties down anyways to get into these passing lanes, and he tries to throw it over the top of them, nope. only to almost get intercepted again. So just know that you can bring these safeties down safely, and it won't cost your pass defense. And now I'm using the cornerback like a linebacker as I set up our run defense and get a stop for no gain before he forces a deep pass on third and 10 to get an instant rage quit. Gotcha, bitch. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more from the offenses and defenses I was using in today's video, I will have links to them popping up on screen. So just click links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.